We also need to find a pipe wrench because if I recall correctly, you can move sinks from, uh, what do you call it? You can move sinks from different places. They just have to uh, be plumbed at first. And to plumb a sink, you need a pipe wrench, believe it or not. So uh, that's on the agenda now. Go ahead and move all this over. Brown rice, is there anything? Oh yeah, we got a shit ton of stuff. We just need to put away. Okay, um, that can go in there. That can go in here. This can go in here as well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Is there anything in here? Yes. But good stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Internet is just absolutely terrible. Ugh. Awesome. Pretty sure. Yeah, I was gonna say we everything we need to put away is in here. Good shit. Good shit. I'm glad we don't have to do anything for the uh, what do you call the fridges because that would have been heartbreaking. Imagine we broke our freaking ankles trying to get this shit in, and then oh yeah, you have to um, learn re find a refrigeration manual somewhere and all that. I don't know, man. This this seems like the type of game where that'd be the case. But yeah, what's up, Wolf? How you doing, man? Welcome on back to stream. Uh, good to see you. Glad to have you, King. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <sighs> Lots of shit. Lots of shit in here, man. Lots of shit. All right. Uh, I think we just toss literally everything in here until we can find another one of these cases to bring home. I'm not sure if that'll be tomorrow. I really don't... Well, it, it kind of is a priority to me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Look real quick, because I have stream... Right here. Yeah, okay. Good shit, good shit. And uh, I think today is actually going to be a bit of a chill, a bit of a chiller stream today. Yeah, the internet is absolutely scuffed today, man. I don't know why. I saw I saw some um, some folks. They were working on it down the street. They someone apparently called my internet provider, and they were just working on it to fix it for my neighborhood. And it was just like apparently they. Apparently, they did not do it, because either that or the issue is just something they couldn't... I don't know, man. I I cannot get into the mind of a an, an internet provider. You know, that's that's not my... It's not, that's not me. I can't do it. All right, yeah, we got a bunch of milk that's about to go off. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, let's, can we make some cereal, actually? Uh, make a bowl of cereal... Make a couple bowls of cereal. There we go. Hey, what's up, Boulder? How you doing, man? Welcome on into stream. Good to see you. Glad to have you. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and I hope you continue to have a fantastic day. How are we doing for health and weight? 93. Good shit. Let's actually see if we can grab fitness level 4 real quick. Let's speed up time. There it is. We're still out of shape, unfortunately, but we need to get to uh, fitness level five to sort that out. Luckily, we were able to hit an hour of squats, so that's going to be sorted out pretty well.
Yeah, but, uh, again, like I said, internet's kind of scuffed. Uh, hi, Boulder. I, I said hello to you, like, 30 seconds ago, but, like I said, latency is kind of scuffed. So, once you're hearing me say this, you'll understand the, uh, the, uh, video streaming, doing some weird stuff on Twitter. Oh, hell yeah. Dude. Okay, good. So, it's, well, I mean, good, not good that it's just, it's not just me, but at the same time, it's like, well, at least I know I'm not the entire problem, though I know my internet's kind of scuffed. Like, but, you know, you know, you know. Uh, we are still severely depressed, ridiculously tired, and a wet little, uh, wet boy. I was going to say wet little boy, but then I was like, mm. But, uh, yeah, we are sweaty, exerted, tired, and apparently having serious panic attacks. You know what? It, it's, it happens to the best of us, man. It really does. Uh, there we go. Can we get to sleep again? No, we got to wait. Okay. Uh, it's just, let's wait about 20 minutes. There we go. Well, I mean, it's snowing. Not really directly related to anything here, but, you know, it's, it's nice to see the snow, even if it is kind of miserable, because it's going to make us cold when we step outside, because contrary to a lot of uh, people's beliefs, snow is actually quite cold. It's a bit of a chilly season, winter, you know? Like, no way, Buzz. Come on, say you're capping right this instant. I, I'm afraid I can't. I can't. Uh, let's go ahead and toss this stuff up here. And then, what else? Do, oh, yeah, just a bunch of medical shit. Bunch of medical shit, bunch of medical shit. It's six o'clock in the morning now. We had our breakfast. Bottle of disinfectant. We have our alcohol wipes. We have plenty of those, so I feel... Fairly comfortable holding on to this and tossing the uh, bottle of disinfectant in here for now. Uh, kind of want to hold on to the needle because if we end up getting something, you know, getting a deep wound or something like that, I, I doubt we'll have to deal with a severe wound, but yeah, let's just take the needle and thread just in case. I stepped on glass once, chat. Snow is actually good insulation? I mean, fair enough. Like, from what I understand, you know, like, not igloos, but, uh, snow, like, little snow shelters. I'll have the long dark to thank for that. I played, uh, the long dark earlier this year, and I was like, oh, cool. I can dig little, little houses in the snow. Very neat. Very epic. Apparently, they're super toasty. Which, you know, it was kind of surprising at first, but then I was like, eh, you know what? There's a lot about life I don't know yet. If someone walked up to me and said, snow is actually quite warm, believe it or not, I'd be like, you know what? You could be right. He might be fucking with me, but he's right. What are we doing today, chat? I think I said what we were going to do, but then I immediately forgot. Let's see. Hmm. I love how we got out of the car to read his map. It's like, all right, cool. In the car, I'm safe. Then as soon as he's in there, I was like, well, still need to check the map. Um, uh, Let's... Still, we still need to find a, still need to find a propane torch. So let's see if we can head into the city. Maybe we missed some, well, we could just head into the city the way we otherwise, no, okay, so tell you what, heading into the city, but we're going to be doing it from this angle, the angle we uh, used to do before we, you know, got the car. Glad we finally patched the windows up, man. That was uh, kind of a big concern for me. I was like, well, we could stick the filing cabinets there and just keep them, keep the windows blocked forever. But at the same time, that's not really, that's not really a long-term solution, is it? It's kind of like a set and forget type thing, and then you remember only when the zombies are, you know, through the filing cabinet and nib nibbling on your neck, and you know, and not in a gentle, loving-like sort of way. It's, it's. Like a consuming type thing, you know? All right. I was going to say, do I hear someone banging on something? Yes, there's a whole store of zombies over there. I was actually trying to look and see if I could see any of them. But I think they've taken five because they're all like, they've all kind of like moved away from the windows. I guess either they gave up or they got distracted. Or maybe they forgot, Chad. Zombies are stupid. I don't know. Did I hit this? I definitely did hit this. Okay, cool. Good shit. I know I hit that because, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, 
that's where all that shotgun ammo is. We need to find a, uh, a holster. I'd love a holster right now. So we have a 1911 back home, but the thing is, we can't really carry it. We hit the KFZ. Actually, remove that. Move you. Because over there is... Yeah, those are the ammo. Those are the ammo dumps. So let's actually... Doesn't appear to be a huge horde besides that. Hello, what do you have in your back? She has a tactical machete and he's got armor. Hello. How am I doing? I have an energy drink, so I think I'm actually going to hit that real quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and drink that. Severely depressed. There we go. Let's see if we can call a couple of them over. So if we can fight them one by one, or in small groups of like maybe two or three, I can handle that shit. I can, I mean, I could handle the whole group. It's just, it'd be kind of a drag trying to, you know, not get eaten. So if we can avoid that, I think I would be better. I would be all the better for it. Tactical machete. Thank you. Thank you. Nice walking into that. Good shit. Come on. Excellent, excellent. I'm getting better with this thing, I think. I mean, you crack enough zombies over the head with this thing. Uh, eventually, Chad, you are going to improve your form. That's just facts, you know? That's just, like, written in nature. If you do something long enough, you're either going to improve at it or realize, wow, I'm really terrible at this. Uh, luckily for me, it's the former, not the latter. Though I'm, I'm expecting the latter to be soon. It's coming, Chad. I'm realizing that I am not the master of all things. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We, uh... We're working out last night. That's fine. We should be okay. It was a lower body exercise, so that's really only going to impact our running speed and our walk speed. Come on. Tap out for me, champion. He might have a holster on him, too. Who knows? Let me get the gamer hat. Enlighten you? Hmm. Live in accordance to nature. Golly. Excellent stuff. Good job, gang. Live free now. No, there's a difference between living in accordance to nature and living the way you want to or living freely. You live life. Living life in accordance with nature means to live a virtuous life. So live virtuously. Uh, let's go ahead and unstrap the helmet. Wait, am I going to have to edit the helmet because the... Yep. Ah, shit. I'm going to have to fix the helmet. That's a shame. Let's go ahead and wear all these clothes. Tuck out. I hear you, bitch. Where are you? Shuffling towards me. Kill or be killed. It's a doggy dog world out there, man. It's kind of gnarly. But, uh... Living in accordance with nature essentially means, like I said, living virtuously. Striving your best to be as good a person you can be. Finding your purpose and sticking with it, you know? Black combat boots. I think I'll wear those just to kind of keep with the theme. How are we doing armor-wise? Let's see. Pretty solid, I gotta say. Um, we're obviously gonna need to... I'll take the field jack another field jacket. I hear a zombie groaning. Doing something. You like a Venus flytrap? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do that. 
I'd rather not talk about it. Do that shit. There they are. I was like, wait a minute. I hear you making your noises. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. I turned into a zombie, Peter. There we go. That chick had a... She had a tactical machete stuck in her arm. Or her back, actually. So we can actually... Let's go ahead and... Tuck that into our... Yeah, go ahead and put that on. Excellent. Good shit. I generally don't use bladed weapons. Be nice to the op- Exactly, yeah. Like, one thing I'm learning is that we're all... As people, we're supposed to live and work together. You know, despite our differences and... Our likes and dislikes of each other. You gotta live in accordance with everybody and just be a decent human being regardless of whether or not people are... Decent to you, I guess. Don't be a pushover, but you know. Tolerate the people you don't like as best as you can, because really, we're all brothers and sisters. Oh, motherfucker! You son of a bitch! You don't have to live in you don't have to live in harmony with zombies, though. That's a ooh antidepressants. It must be my birthday. You don't have to live in accordance with zombies, though. F fuck zombies. Why wear armor when you don't get touched? Because when you get touched, that's when you wish you had armor. What is this place? Is this like a fireman now? Firehouse? I, I probably should have looked. Kind of just walked in. All right, let's see. Ice cream. Oh! Magazine. What do we have here? Value tech radio. Let's go ahead and dismantle literally every electronic we find. Uh, hmm. Hmm. And then we have this stuff over here. Pencil. Long sleeve compression tee. I can wear that. Sure, why not? Dismantle the headphones. Tear apart these socks. Ooh, a bathroom. Very nice. Hello? Bro was just chilling. He was. That's the problem. He's going to chill, and then he's immediately going to be like, mm. take a chunk right out of me arm. I like my arm, Chad. I prefer to keep all chunks intact, you know? Like, it's my arm flesh. I want to keep it. I've, I've grown attached to it, quite literally, in fact. Empty bowl. I don't think we need any more bowls, but I do need this TV to be busted down. Exceptional stuff. All right. Crowbar in a really good condition, too. Good shit. Exceptional shit. I'll take the lights, the electric wire. Really do need to find some better... Uh, I need to find a better backpack. Because this right here, what we have now is good, but it's not as good as, like, a survivor pack, you know? It's, it's could be doing a little bit better, is all I'm saying. Let me actually mark this place off the map just before we leave. Uh, not sure what this was, but useful. I'll say that much. Pretty useful. Decent bit of food. Leveled up our sprinting. Very epic. Hooray. Like, what is this? Is this like a Nammo press or something? I couldn't tell you. That, that dude has a crossbow on his back. I would love a crossbow. Okay, crossbow. Horde. Not rocking with the horde, I'm going to be honest with you. We'll deal with them in a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean probably deal with them tomorrow. Because right now, I'm going to be honest, we are in no condition to fight. Metallic style dress watch. I do like, I like the way this one looks. I like it a lot. Let's go and rip all this up. Put it around just to make sure we're not getting jumped. Eventually, we need to find that one zombie with another cure on him. Because I know he's around here somewhere. We've got at least one in this city. And we need to make sure we kill him before he gets himself lost. 
I don't know if zombies can despawn, but uh, if they do, that's going to be bad news for us. Speaking of bad news for us, this doesn't look very good. Uh, chat, no ropes but the one that leads to the end. Let's go and take this one out. How good is this machete? It's been a while, so I'm a little out of practice. One, two, three, four, five. Though, to be fair, I am very new with the machete. Or rather, he's new with the machete. I haven't used it in a while. It's a fairly rare find from what I understand. It's kind of, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, cool, I found it. It's better than the regular machete, too, because the regular machete is, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, we're too tired for this shit, dude. I think it might be time to head home. See ya, bozos. See ya, chumps. I'm actually going to take some antidepressants now that I'm here. Let's go ahead and... Wow. All right, so that wasn't very many at all. It looks like it wasn't a full bottle, which is a bit of a shame, but I will be honest. I'm surprised we could find any antidepressants in the zombie apocalypse. That seems like one of the first things to go. Like, if you're in the zombie apocalypse, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to take a guess and say your mental health probably isn't as good as it could be. You're not operating at 100%, which is understandable, you know. I expect a lot of people wouldn't be doing their best in the zombie apocalypse. Me, I'd be balling, dude. I'd be like, hooray. Not really, Chad. I'd be fucking miserable. I'd be stinky. I wouldn't have a shower. I'd be fighting off zombies and bandits and being real cool. But real cool in like a brutal, brutal world sort of way, you know? I was watching some clips from uh, The Walking Dead yesterday, man. That shit looks kind of cool. But uh, again, it's like there are very few zombies. It's very people focused now and I know I realized that was a lot of people's complaints for like the older seasons but honestly man I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real if you didn't like the older seasons because they were too people focused yeah a lot of people share that sentiment bold I, I feel like a lot of people kind of feel that way hey man I mean it's rough it'd be rough out here this the zombie apocalypse is not to be a I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it's not the best time to be alive, the zombie apocalypse. I just wouldn't want to turn into a zombie, you know? It's like, oh, man. But then I'm just wandering around eating people, and I'm like, this sucks. All right, cool. Yeah, we got to fix the helmet because right now, as you can see, it's clipping through the afro, which makes me feel like we should probably just take it off, but then I don't want to get bit. Hey, what's up, Lars? How you doing, man? Welcome on the stream. Good to see you. Glad to have you, man. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and hope you continue to have a fantastic day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Old money, new hole. Olives. Was this really all the food we got? I thought we had more. Really? Huh. Fair enough, man. I'm not mad. We got a little bit, and that's all that we need. Well, we need a lot of it, Chad, because we have to eat for, like, the rest of our life, but... Walking Dead is people arguing sometimes zombies. Yeah, I've seen that sentiment, too. I think that was a meme going around for a while. And I watched it. I was like, yeah, but uh, I find the human aspect of it to be fairly enjoyable. I enjoy watching the main characters like Rick and Carl and Shane and even Negan. Negan was probably the best part of that show because by the time he showed up, I was... Very much clocked out of The Walking Dead. I was like, all right, I'm probably going to just put it down after this. But then I saw him, and I was like, oh, shit, this show is cool. It was very cool, chat. And then, well, then it just kept dragging on and on and on. I was like, well, I'm just, I'm just going to... It is what it is now, man. Not good at all. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's okay for now. I'm sorry to hear that, Lars. You can text, like, text me, bro. I got you. Don't put it on the floor. Ah, I was going to say don't put it on the floor. I was hoping he was going to drop it in the uh, boxy woxy, which is what we call boxes where I'm from, chat. Which is where I'm from, but I digress. Um... Toss this umbrella in there as well. I'm wearing Adidas leggings still? Really? I guess I'm wearing them under my uh, 
under my camo pants. Good shit. And it looks like the pain seems to have subsided somewhat. Uh, what else do we need to toss away? We have a crowbar that we need to put away. And some clothes as well. Uh, hold on to the thread. I have some almond milk that we need to put away. Some milk milk as well. Good shit. I think I'm just going to drink the milk milk. Get big and strong. Do we have any other clothes we need to put away? I don't think so. I think everything else can go downstairs. Or in our weapon box. No. Oh, no. This fits perfectly in the weapon box. Excellent. Jolly good. Oh, let's go ahead and dismantle all three of these radios. Do we have any other electric things we can break apart? We kind of want to hold on to those flashlights. Uh, get rid of the medical masks and the surgical gloves. We'll probably just throw those away because they're really just taking up. Yeah, look at that. Like, seven units of space. That's way too heavy for something we're never even going to use, so. All right. Oh, but for real large, you got my Snapchat, so if you wanna if you wanna reach out and talk to somebody, you got you got me, man. I got you. Alright, let's actually we can't bathe up here. We're gonna need to wash ourselves off, and then I think we'll work out. Yeah, depression is what's keeping us up at night, which makes a lot of sense. Uh yeah. Uh, it's not this one. It is this one over here. Which is loss of restless sleeper and sleepyhead, which means we'll be sleeping for a lot longer and a lot better these uh, next couple of days. Or however long it takes for uh, this medicine to uh, wear off. I'm guessing it's going to stay for about 12 hours, maybe? Max? I don't know, man. I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and toss in... Oh, we'll keep, we'll keep, uh, keep a couple extra masks on hand, but aside from that, we can just throw everything else away. Oh, no, I was putting it on the wrong shelf. There we go. I was trying to put it in the box. Really need to grab another one of those. But to do that, to improve our carpentry skill would be to improve how our chances of actually picking them up versus breaking them. The shelves, I mean. A uh, problem with that is we don't have the carpentry books required to level up our skills. Yeah, because we're at car we're, sorry, we're at carpentry 2. I want to buff that up to maybe carpentry, you know, 3 or 4. By that point, we're picking up things with a fairly decent success rate, though. Right now, it's like, yeah, it's just not it. It's just not it. 12.43. There we go. Good stuff. 25.26. Good shit. Good shit. So we got a couple of, uh, what is that, a couple of weeks, and then we should be at five. Excellent stuff. I uh, don't want to go to sleep just yet. I feel like there's a, a little bit more we could be doing with our time. Is there? I mean, well, we could put some things away. Yeah, let's go and put these bowls away. Check the status of our clothes. Pretty good so far. Good shit. Good shit. 
Uh, I tell you what, let's actually go to sleep now. We don't have any books to read, which is how I would usually pass the time. Let's go to sleep now, and if we end up waking up at, like, 3 in the morning or something, we can... I don't know. 